so cute. Years of memories captured in photos, but though she isn't in every picture, one person witnessed it all. I remember that. She's the third parent in the family, as we refer to her many times. Carolyn O'Hare is a staple in her granddaughter's lives. I thought it was important, not that their family doesn't do a good job, but to be active in their life for religion. She made sure her granddaughters, no matter how busy their weekend was, always went to church, passing on her faith, a strong relationship and prayer that Pope Francis hopes all grandparents will have with their grandchildren. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At the world meeting of families last August, the Holy Father made a plea that families make sure grandparents not be forgotten. Nessuna famiglia può crescere se dimentica le proprie radici. I bambini non crescono nell'amore se non imparano a comunicare con i loro nonni. Dunque lasciate che il vostro amore affondi radici profonde. In Brooklyn, that message is being heard. Grandparents have fallen through the cracks. Deacon Armand D'Accordo is the spiritual director of Brooklyn's Catholic Grandparents Association, a group that advises grandparents on how to pass on their faith. Basically, it's to let the grandparents of our diocese know that they have a mission and a vocation to spread their faith to their grandchildren. Deacon Armand says the best way to spread that faith is to start talking about it. Oh my God, look how, look how young everybody was. Carolyn was on hand to answer yeah. whatever questions about God the girls posed. And as a Sunday school teacher for almost 15 years, she has plenty of answers. She'd always like bring her work over, or when I was there, she'd always be grading papers, and I'd always be like, oh, what are you doing? And then that's how it kind of started. Now her granddaughters not only go to Mass willingly, they are even helping her teach others at CCD. I had some other kids that had volunteered to help out. They weren't as dedicated as Nader and Allie were. I feel like if she wasn't always pushing for, like, for me to go to church and just having her CCD program and me working with her, I feel like I wouldn't be as strong-rooted in my faith as I am now. And that faith has given them a special relationship. It's brought us like closer together. It's just, like a special bond we have. She's just been helping me with a lot. Katie Angusser, Currents News.